Hello, my name is Dimitar and I'll be here helping you get started with Blender. This tutorial series is aimed specifically at concept for concept design for architects and designers and it is to get you started as quickly as possible with using the software so we'll be covering only what's necessary for you to be able to do concept design soon and quickly. So Blender is quite well known for its rendering capabilities but it's not very well known, at least within the architecture and design community, for its modeling capabilities. And I use it quite often at work, and it's as good as 3ds Max and Maya at achieving really good results really quickly. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is our default Blender window when we open the program, and the first thing that we need to do is modify some settings in order to make it a little bit more user friendly. So if we go to File, User Preferences, and we check Auto Depth, Zoom to Mouse Position, Rotate Around Selection, and Auto Perspective. And then if we go to Input and Select Width, we want to change that to Left Mouse, so that's like every other program that we use and then save user settings and we can close this window so now if we click with our left mouse button we can select different objects shift click to select multiple and shift click again to deselect if we want to pan around or rotate or manipulate in 3d space if we click the middle mouse button we rotate around the view if we shift and click, we pan, and with the scroll wheel we zoom in and out. And as you see, everything happens around the object that's selected, or if we have multiple objects, we rotate around the center point, which is represented by this manipulator. So if we click on our cube, we zoom into it, and we see we have a manipulator here and if you don't see it you can turn it on by clicking this icon and we can move the object left and right up and down on the z-axis and we can move it in any direction if we want to be more precise with the movements while holding trying to move it we can type numbers in our keyboard so for example I'll press 2 and I'll release or press enter and we can see that we move the object to units now I want to move it in the Z direction and I'll press 3 and I want to move it in the Y direction and I'll press 2 but I want to move it in the negative direction so to move it in the negative direction all we need to do is press the minus button on our keyboard and we can flip back and forth between positive and negative by continuously hitting the minus button if we go down into this menu we select this button it gives us a manipulator to scale so again we can scale in any axis that we want and we can be a bit more precise let's say we want to scale twice in this direction we just type 2 hit enter and we've scaled we also have these tools here, Translate, Rotate and Scale. If we don't like to use the manipulator, we can move them. We can select, hit the Translate button and move this around. And if we, again, if we type X, Y or Z on our keyboard, we can lock axis and move two units, for example, in one direction. And we can do this with, with Rotate. with scale and again we can just look specific axes now if we want to get back to the original object to reset the transformations we can click this plus button right here and we see a little bit of information about our object such as location rotation values and scale so if we set the location to zero we see that our object has moved back into the origin point 
if we change the rotation to zero, now it's changed. Then if we play, make all the scale items one in X, Y, and Z. And now we're back to the original object. Now we can duplicate the object by hitting the duplicate here. By the way, if you do not have this menu, all you need to do is press the plus button and it will show up. So if we duplicate and again we can press X, Y or Z to lock any axes. So I'll duplicate it three times. And Blender has a cool feature that's repeating the last command. And if we press Shift R, we can repeat exactly the last command that we did. And that's it for our first tutorial. Now we should know how to manipulate 3D space, what our objects are, how we can select them, move them, scale them and rotate them. In the next tutorial, in the next video, we'll be looking at editing an object. Thank you for watching this and see you next time.